Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing what you need to know for this week coming up. So I'll most likely be releasing this on a Tuesday, so it'll be the week obviously through that to the next Tuesday or whenever obviously you're seeing this, but this will be the week of the 19th to the 26th, okay, of May. So we have three groups, group one, two and three, and we're gonna be seeing what you're releasing and what you're bringing in also as well. And then we're gonna pull some tarot. So please choose your group. You have group number one, two, and three, and let's get started. So starting off with group number one. Hello, group number one. Let's get started with your reading. Let's see what is your overall message for this week coming. Wow, we have soulmates. Oh my God, that is so beautiful. So the overall message for you guys is soulmates. That is what you're bringing in. That is what you are really looking into. So this could be you as your own soulmate. This could be you being with somebody else. This could be, this could be, it's for anybody. So singles, in a relationship, that kind of thing. So if you're already in a relationship, it could mean that you are really connected with each other. You're becoming much more comfortable with each other. Um, obviously this sounds like more of a particular reading, so if it doesn't resonate with you, then please feel free to choose another group or just carry on watching and see kind of if it resonates. So we have the number of 41, which kind of makes me feel like you're trying to balance out a situation as well. So if you're single or you're in a complicated situation, it could mean that you're trying to balance out the situation as it is. For some of you guys, I do feel like you are going to let go of a partner if they no longer serve you. I don't know if it's going to be in this week, but it can be in the next couple of months to do with this Venus retrograde as well. And I do feel like for you guys, there's definitely an energy of moving forward, the change in the wind happening. Okay, so that's the overall energy for this week. It's so beautiful, so, so positive. So let's see what you are bringing in. We have connection. Wow, that's so beautiful. And then what are you releasing? You are the light. It's safe to sit fully into your light. So this is perfect. So this could mean that you are releasing, as I say, releasing an old connection that no longer serves you, okay? This also means that you guys are really connecting with your soul's purpose. This could mean that you're connecting with your own soul as well in terms of like you're discovering who you really are. And for a lot of you guys, it could mean that you actually connect with somebody this week who really, really sparks joy for you. Marie Kondo. <laughs> that really sparks joy for you and makes you feel really, really comfortable. So the connection is also showing me that you're connecting more with nature. If you can get out, then please do. And really get your hands in the dirt, or get your feet on the grass. Um, and obviously if the weather's nice, maybe not in the rain, but if that's your prerogative, then go freaking go for it. <laughs> uh, I'm also seeing yellow daisies as well, so that could be a sign for you this week. It's also showing you that you're, it's stay, safe for you to step fully into your light and you're releasing that kind of energy where you don't feel safe. You're releasing the energy where you are starting to feel more safe, more comfortable, more happy with who you are. And you're starting to feel like, yes, I can do this. I am safe. I can step fully into my light, step fully into my light. And I can do this, okay? So that is the uh, general message for this week. So this is what you're bringing in and this is what you are releasing, which is great. Uh, we're gonna see a couple, we're gonna pull a, top, a couple of tarot cards. And we're gonna see what else is happening for you guys, for group number one for this week. Okay, we have the page of wands, lovely. Let's see what else, group number one. Okay, I want this guy here. Queen of Cups, lovely. Wow, you guys are really connected with a love relationship. I'm getting really hot as I pulled the Queen of Cups. I do definitely feel like there is a relationship on the horizon for some of you guys if you're single. Wow, this is, oh my God, I cannot make this stuff up. This is insane. You'd think that I wouldn't be shuffling these cards, wouldn't you, if you saw this? This is insane. So for a lot of you guys, you are, this group is very, very sensitive. I feel like you guys have really been through the ringer with people, especially with the opposite sex or obviously masculine. It feels more to do with a connection. So obviously it doesn't have to do with the opposite sex if you if that's not your prerogative. But it is a it does feel more of like a feminine to masculine connection. And you are releasing that kind of energy where you're no longer you don't feel like you can be a, like a doormat. I don't want to say doormat, but you don't feel like you can be stepped on anymore. You're really bringing your power and you're becoming much more passionate about who you are. You're becoming much more comfortable with who you are and you're understanding you are your own soulmate and therefore you're going to get what you deserve, you know, and you're going to get this beautiful energy here. So I do see a relationship here forming, okay? So this is for those singles. Obviously, if you're not single, then obviously this might not be for you. It could be a masculine coming that you connect with anyway. It could be a friend. 
But I am seeing here with the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups with the moon in between. It's basically saying that both sides of you, masculine and feminine, are coming together. And you're releasing a lot of that side of you where you no longer have to feel um, like you can't say what you want to say. That you can't really put your foot down. This is that energy coming forward in this this conjunction that's going on right now. I think it's the conjunction or the retrogrades. It's really causing us to be in our power, which is so beautiful. This moon in between is basically saying that this could also mean this is a subconscious coming in. So it's basically saying that if you can release all this subconscious energy, you're going to get this person that you really, really want, male or female. Um, and also with the Queen of Swords, this is saying that you're going to feel so much more powerful on the other side of all of this almost junk energy that kind of needs to be released and needs to go. And you're unlocking the, the your part of you that really needs to come out, which is so beautiful. I'm getting so hot doing this reading. It's crazy. I know it's very hot today. It's like, I don't know, 20 something degrees, which is very hot in England. But I'm genuinely getting very hot and it's inwardly. Like I'm feeling very, very hot. Um, some of you guys, I'm getting the word coconut oil, which I have no idea why. It could be to do with your diet. It could be uh, you putting on your eyelashes. I know you see people put it on their hair and things. So that could be something for you also. So I really want to pull another card for you guys because this group is absolute tea. Like I really want to know what's going on with you guys. So what's the main focus for this week for group number one? Oh my God. <laughs> okay right i'm just gonna i'm just gonna stop pulling cards now because this is they're just throwing it in my face so okay so for a lot of you guys you could be in a relationship this month this month okay this month um <laughs> um this month may to june and you could be finding somebody in the next week but it could be the next month as well as i said the month uh this that's so beautiful and then we have outlook this is so um synchronistic this group your outlook is really really changing so this is so beautiful okay i have nothing else to say i really hope you enjoyed this little quick reading i hope you have a lovely day stay safe and if you would like any crystal jewelry let me know uh instagram message me or email me i do custom crystal jewelry i'm also going to be putting on my shop very soon hopefully so thank you so much for watching and i'll speak to you very soon much love bye okay group number one i couldn't get past this message okay so i have to say that i feel like a blue crystal is around you guys so maybe a blue crystal would be really good for you i'm hearing larimar i'm hearing blue lace agate uh lapis azuli so possibly those crystals are really good for you okay just had to say that bye hello group number two let's get started with your reading <clears throat> excuse me let's get started and let's see what your overall energy is okay so we have the number four higher power so for you guys you're really coming into stability you're coming much more stable with who you are you're becoming much more comfortable with who you are and you're understanding that the connection you have with your guides is very, very important. And also just connecting to your soul, who you are as a person, who you want to become, what you want to do in this lifetime. And also as an energy of connecting to your intuition. So that's really, really beautiful. So your intuition could be very, very high at the moment, but also wanting to just connect with your intuition and really going for it in that area. OK, so we're going to see what you are bringing in this week and what you are releasing. So let's see what you're bringing in. So we have wisdom. That is what I feel like, especially with the higher power, is you're really drawing in your intuition. You're understanding that a lot of awareness comes through dealing with the emotions that come up and not judging them. So I feel like you are really going into what, what really makes you happy. And you're getting a lot of wisdom out of these epiphanies I think you're having this week. And you possibly could have somebody come back from the past this week that brings a lot of wisdom and brings a lot of energy that makes you feel really, really happy. And as I say about guides, my nose is really, really itching. Like they're really itching my nose. I feel like for you guys, Green Adventure is gonna be a really good crystal for you. I actually have my little Green Adventure in here. It's a really beautiful, like light green crystal. So that could be a really good crystal for you guys. Very good for tuning in with your heart chakra. Um, okay, so what are you releasing? Soul Tribe, it's safe to be seen. So you are releasing the need to hide, the need to, um, not be seen by people and when I say be seen I don't mean physically it could mean mentally emotionally really letting yourself be seen to yourself and really connecting with who you are like actually ask okay what do I need in this situation is there anything that I need to talk about to this person um, is there somewhere I possibly need to go that makes me feel much more happier and comfortable so I can emerge out and obviously we can't always go to everywhere we can go at the moment because obviously there are restrictions but there is an energy of, okay, I can handle this and I don't want to hide in the shadows anymore. I don't want to be this shy person anymore or you should just be embracing that you're shy and just understand that that is where you are, you know, and that is who you are. And if you're not shy, it's really embracing like 
being noticed by people, um, being seen on social media, possibly a bit more vulnerable, possibly on, say, other like platforms like YouTube being more vulnerable. Um, this could be like a more of a vulnerable week where you start to really see what's going on in your emotions and what's going on with, yeah, your emotions and on a deep level, okay? So we're going to see what's happening for you guys for this week. We're going to pull some tarot cards. We're going to see what's the, the energy is coming in. Okay, so you're really being introduced to somebody um like an opportunity so with the wisdom card as i said there is definitely somebody coming in and i'm not sure you actually want them there that's why we have this four of cups energy but we do have the ten of cups so it could be one of some ugh, okay can't speak for some of you guys if you're releasing this person and you're really happy about it because you finally have let them go okay it doesn't have to be like an actual physical person coming in it could be like a memory or it could be um yeah, it just feels very, very happy. And I feel like this could actually be an offer of love as well. There is definitely a lot of love around these groups. Every time I pull cards, it's like love, 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 as you know. I'm like trying to move away from that because obviously not everyone wants to know about love, but I, it, it keeps coming at me. So we have the Hierophant and the Death card. So this is basically showing me a new start to yourself. Like you're, it's possibly the cup is like offering you to really look at your emotions and therefore you're much more happier and much more content. You can move forward you can live life to more to your fullest potential in terms of your emotional stability and the four of cups is basically saying that there is a new offer coming in so for some of you who are single expect some sort of offer coming in this week if it's not in this week it'll be in the next month or so um what's the after this death card what's after the death card so you're learning to um relax around your work area as well <clears throat> really look after yourself and if you're overworking make sure to really look after yourself because you want to make sure that you are really getting all that energy and making sure you're sleeping enough because these energies are really intense at the moment uh, but it's definitely energy of understanding who you are and becoming much more stable because of it and therefore you're able to release whatever is, is no longer serving you but i definitely feel like this is a love offer for some of you guys because you're really shifting your energy like majorly it could just be your own <clears throat> internal energy like your own internal wounds coming up and you're feeling much more supported by yourself you're no longer unsupported you're much more supported but it really feels like you're coming into an element of just feeling much more content with who you are whether you're got an offer or not whether you're single or not you're just much more content with being who you are and I feel like you're really doing things that make you feel good whether that be something really simple whether that be something a little bit more complicated you know I don't know but the energy here is you are letting things flow which I really 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 like and I keep hearing uh the word of cinnamon and ginger I have no idea why I should possibly look up those they herbs or roots but look up those I think they've got a spiritual meaning we also have the queen of swords so communication coming in strongly you're really oh I have hair sorry guys gross <laughs> I keep shedding hairs at the moment I need to I need to brush my hair more but I can't because it's curly so it's just like hairs everywhere okay um you're really uh connecting with your own energy i'm touching my heart as i touch this card like every time i touch it i touch my heart it's very strange so you are very much being very um assertive and very not you're not feeling vulnerable anymore you're like do you know what this is how i feel this is how i'm gonna um this is how i'm gonna express myself and i feel like for a lot of you guys you could be releasing a lot of unprocessed foods in your diet you could be uh, having a better diet with your with yourself and just really being conscious of what you're eating and that's also helping you you could be bringing in your soul tribe as well there could be some people that you meet this week that really are on your wavelength okay so we have the second house of material assets so for you guys your work life could be changing you could be um, getting more of opportunities in work but also it could be that you're clearing out a lot of your clutter in your house and you're allowing for new energies to come in and we also have venus love this is this is not in the reverse okay so also love for this group this is the exact same card that came up for group number one but you guys are definitely allowing new emotions to come up and definitely let them come through it's also feeling much more solid and much more secure with who you are your finances could be a little bit more secure now things are changing but you know it all depends on external circumstances but your wardrobe might be changing your clothing but also yeah you're just clearing out a lot of things and you're you're working more towards your money as well so thank you so much for watching i hope you have a lovely day if you want any crystal jewelry custom crystal jewelry let me know instagram message me or email me i'll speak to you very soon much love
Bye. So for you guys before I go, before I heard a song for you guys, which is 22 by Lily Allen. And it sounds like quite a depressing song, but it has a really nice meaning. And yeah, and I, it's a very deep song, but don't take it literally, guys. It just feels like it's that energy of like kind of trudging through, but actually getting to that really, really good space of feeling very confident with yourself. I'm saying you don't need kind of anything or anyone to really like define you but that's kind of what I get from that song so I hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you very soon much love bye hello group number three let's get started with your reading let's see what's going on for you this week so the overall energy is oh we're changing the wind oh I love that that's beautiful so for you guys you can expect some change this week you can expect a different perspective on life you can expect possibly a different circumstances coming up it could be worldly as well but also I just feel like in your own environment you're really looking at your intuition and you're looking at okay what what do I need to do and you're asking yourself what is it I need to do right now to really get this started and for you guys it's like your subconscious energy is really coming up I feel like the the Venus retrograde is really hitting you where a lot of memories are coming up and they're triggering a lot of emotions in you and it's really changing things about how you act and how you are and you're like oh wow I never realized that about myself and things I really feel like for you guys you need to drink more water as well get hydrated make sure you're drinking enough water for some reason they're shouting at me now so mm. um, also you might be drinking a lot of coffee and tea that's totally fine they're just saying that they're just seeing you drinking that okay um, right, so what are we bringing in this week? We have clarity. Yeah, beautiful. So this change in the wind is bringing you clarity with your life. You're understanding, oh, that's what, that's why I did that. Oh, okay. There's going to be a lot of that going on, I feel like, this week. Um, right, so what are you releasing? Diamond light activations. Light activations and new energies are coming your way. Be open to receive and welcome them in. So it's funny how we have a black and white animal. We also have a black and white animal here. So it's like the yin and yang, the duality. So what you're releasing is um, a lot of old energies and then you're welcoming in a lot of new energies. And that is that change in the wind. So let me just grab my Wisdom of the Oracle book and then we're going to see what this actually is a definition of. So let's have a look. Number 12 is a sense that unseen change has been initiated preparing for a storm awareness that your plans are not on firm ground feeling a shift uncertainty about which direction the winds will blow okay so this is really 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 interesting because i feel like this is very accurate to the energies that are going on right now is that you're just unsure of what's going to happen okay you're like i need certainty i need certainty i need to know but what I feel like is going on is it's all internal, really. But actually, the internal is, is changing the external. And I can tell you for a fact that once I changed my internal, this is very recently, once I changed my internal energy, it actually changed my external circumstances. I'm not going to say what happened, but it really shifted the out external. It was actually crazy. It was almost like a literal switch. It was crazy. So I can uh, tell you for a fact that that is true. Like I feel like some people say, oh no, but like your in, in internal is your reflection of the external. Yes, it is. But also there is some things that literally is just part of our soul plan. So there is a lot of uh, clarity that you're getting through these new energies that are coming in. You're feeling much more excited about what's going on, okay? So we're going to look at the tarot and we're going to see what else is coming for you this week. What is this change in the wind? I want to see what this is. Wouldn't be surprised if a tower card came out. Oh, hello. Hi, Knight of Cups. Hi. Hi. Um, so much love. Every single group has love. Like I'm really trying not to talk about love because I feel like you guys are obviously might be sick of it. I don't know. But we have so many new energies, right? I'm just going to say new love for you guys. New love this week. I feel it. I feel it in my fingers. I feel it in my toes. <laughs> wow, that's such good singing. We also have the moon here. We have a moon here and we have a tiny, tiny little moon here. So whatever is going on, your emotions are driving your future. Okay. And I feel like that was a very big quote, me saying that your emotions are driving your future. So really focusing on the positives of what's going on right now, whether that be external, whether that be internal, and really nurturing yourself because you no longer have to trudge along. You no longer have to force things because that is not what we're about. We're not what we're not about the forcing. We're about shifting things and moving things naturally. Okay. So if any emotions come up, I want you to acknowledge them and you release them if you can, if you feel strong enough to. You just put your hand in your heart and you say, I acknowledge part of me feeling whatever that emotion is, sadness about, whatever that's about. I feel sadness 
I acknowledge part of me feeling sadness about my past and I choose to let these feelings flow right now. And you breathe in, breathe out, and then you look kindly at yourself. I look at my right shoulder and look at yourself like you were a kitten or a bub baby, a bubby, a bubby, and you just let it flow. And that's what you do. And you just keep doing that until those emotions shift, okay? This card really wants to come out. Oh, hi. Hi, Queen of Wands. She's feeling very, very strong. So I feel like you're you're very passionate this week. You're really putting energy into your passions. And this energy here is so obvious. Like you are gonna get an offer coming in. If you are single, look out for that. Like I feel this energy is so, so, so strong. I think you're gonna be like, no, not for me, but actually it's gonna be for you, okay? And you no longer have to force, push, pull. It's like, let things flow naturally. Massive change in the wind. And funnily enough, speaking of when we had the Knight of Swords, so is this in the reverse? No, yes, no, it's not in the reverse. So uh, the communication is coming in from somebody and the Knight of Swords is an air sign, okay? So there's a lot of change in communication. This guy here is wanting to communicate to you and it's actually making me nervous. So a lot of you guys could be nervous when this person messages you. I feel like it's gonna be online communication. Uh, it could be someone from the past and then you start to change the relationship with this person. Make sure to let the relationship die before you start a new relationship because obviously you don't want to bring in all of that old energy into this new start, okay? Um, massive new change, massive new start. I feel like you guys, you're ready for this. I feel like you're ready for this. Um, there's a song that goes, I gotta get through this. I gotta get through this. I don't know who it's by or any other words. <laughs> That's literally, so. isn't it like I've got to get, it's like gotta get, gotta get my mind back to you or something I don't know the words but that's basically what I'm hearing I don't know what the song is but it's I feel okay I've got to look it out I'm gonna google it right now guys <laughs> okay so let's have a look and see what this song is because I'm confused right okay let's have a look uh, I gotta get through this okay it's actually like um like a dubstep song Daniel Beddingfield Oh, okay. I think it's Daniel Beddingfield. And it says, I gotta get through this, I gotta get through this. I gotta make it, gotta make, gotta make it through. It said I'm gonna get through this, I'm gonna get through this, I gotta get take, gotta take my mind off you. Oh, that's it. And it says, Give me a, give me just a second and I'll be alright. Surely one moment couldn't break my heart till give me till tomorrow, then I'll be okay. Just another day and I'll hold you tight. Right, okay. So I do feel like for the, some of you guys, you are releasing an ex or releasing an old partner and you're get, trying to get through this, okay? For some of you, you could have released a lot of people, you're fresh, got fresh energy coming in and you're no longer having to get through this. It's like, I don't have to get through this anymore. I'm just living, you know? It's no longer pushing and pulling and forcing or just agony, you know, for, you, for, you, for your relationships. And this could be friendships, family, I just feel that things are improving with that. Um, massive amount of Aries energy coming in here and water energy. So you could be an Aries, fire sign, Leo, Sag, or like, or you could be a water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Very, very beautiful energy. I feel so much goodness coming from you guys. So much positivity. So let's see what else wants to come through. Okay. What's coming in for group number three, please? Oh, wow. Major fire energy. We have the sun. So you're really figuring out who you are. You're really understanding. Look, I don't need anyone, but I would like someone, you know? Uh, revolution about things, about things changing. You're really understanding yourself. Let's see what else. Breakthroughs is really what I'm looking at right now. And my nose is itching. So my guys are really here right now. We have Chiron healing, healing the past, healing everything that's gone on. And you're really acknowledging that as well. You're acknowledging what went on and you could get communication from somebody very strong. Um, because you've healed, this is what you're getting. And you could be a Pisces as well. And we also have Taurus energy. So someone very um, cozy, very warm, very comfortable, could just be a friend as well, come back from the past or just a new friend that you're making. Uh, somebody who makes you feel very homely, very safe and comfortable. So if you guys, I highly, highly recommend Hematite. It's actually a crystal that I'm wearing right now. So maybe this group is for me. Uh, Hematite is a very, very good crystal, really good for grounding. I also highly, highly recommend Amethyst for your intuition as well. 
Um, I will be selling these on my shop, so look out for that. I'm very, very excited. I will hopefully have that up in the next month or so. And yeah, if you want any custom crystal jewellery, I'm actually wearing one of my bracelets here. This is a blue lace agate and rose quartz uh, bracelet with silver beads. So if you want any crystal jewellery, custom crystal jewellery, let me know. You're welcome to purchase one. I have... Um, I have bracelets, I have necklaces, all that jazz. So let me know, uh, message me on my email or Instagram and I'll do that for you. So thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you have a lovely day, stay safe and I'll speak to you very soon. Much love.